Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Hopefully you are having a great day. What I want to talk about today is Joy Toy. Now if you've been following Joy Toy, you'll realize that they have been producing some 40k models. I'm going to put them in the background. These are 1 18th scale if I'm not mistaken. They're around 12 centimeters tall. They're very very detailed model. You can move all their arms, the heads and stuff like that. I've never owned a Joy Toy model but I have been told that they are high detailed models now what i want to talk about today is not the ones you've seen in the background because we know we're getting these full boss marines but what's coming next with the joy toy range because we've had some leaks posted on facebook groups showing the next incoming waves of space marines from the joy toy range so let's start with this image in the background and please ignore the intercessor for now because we're going to talk about the intercessor later on we have better quality images of him i just want you to focus on on the Gravis Captain because he's an absolute badass and Gravis Armor is by far the greatest Space Marine Armor there. I bloody said it. Now, uh, this chap, as you can see, he's got the Bolter, he's got the Power Fist, he's got the um, Iron Halo, he will have the Power Sword, he's got his cape and stuff. The reason why I say he will have a Power, uh, power Sword is basically these Joy Toy models are just taken from the miniature range and made bigger. They're made bigger, they're made to look, you know, more cooler, more chunkier, let's say, you know, all the arms move. I'm sure you can take off the heads, have um, helmet options and all that type of stuff. They're basically just a model range made to like a G.I. Joe type of level for you to play with or maybe your kids to play with. But what I will say, what I've been told by people who do collect Joy Toy, that they are very, very expensive. Now, the Space Marine stuff that we've shown at the beginning with the Phobos, apparently that has started to ship now in the US and that that's looking around like $200 or something for like a squad of five, if I'm not mistaken. Again, I don't really know the prices, so I'm not going to go in and let's start quoting them and putting them on screen or anything like that, because it's just rumor at the moment. Unless someone can come over and give me like an actual site where I can see the prices to buy these in like British pounds or dollars. And next up, of course, is that Intercessor. This is why I wanted to leave it to this part of the video, because you can see how bloody detailed this thing is now. I actually want a full 10-man squad of these chaps i wonder i absolutely wonder could you maybe buy these and play like a game of kill team i know you'd have to make the terrain bigger and stuff like that but how awesome would it be to put these chaps on bases and play at this type of scale the reason why i say kill team because you don't need a lot of models when it comes to kill team of course you have to fight against other people and at this moment in time we don't really know if um joy toy is going to be doing orcs necron sisters eldar i think they will do because these models do look fantastic so i would like them to add different races to their range but if we just take a second just to look at this model like how detailed it is how nice do primaris look when they've been upscaled and they're looking like this i'm not saying that first ball marines are bad or anything because i'm sure they look bad art as well but i really do appreciate the primaris marine and how the armor suits them and how it just looks it looks absolutely incredible this chap looks like a badass and as i said before you you are definitely getting that helmet option you can see like you do have um well his his, his face and the, the helmets on the floor and the you know chainsaw and stuff like that so you are going to have different weapon options i wonder if they'll give you like a power fist because sergeants can take power fist power sword thunder hammers and chainsaws so yeah it'll be it'll be very very interesting to see where they go when it comes in terms of customization with weapon options and finally we have the librarian the primaris librarian and again this looks absolutely bloody fantastic i've never really been a fan of the librarian with like this kind of undercoat and i can't i kind of call it like a neo coat where you know it flaps to the side but seeing it in this scale i actually really do appreciate it i think it looks absolutely fantastic um again the face everything from this model is basically taken from the tabletop range that's all they're doing they're just getting it and making it bloody bigger so i'm wondering now where they're gonna go next i'm sure it's going to be more gravis marines i probably won't be surprised if they do a tech marine a chaplain next uh, if they started to do like the special characters like the librarian um maybe we'll actually start seeing some actual characters maybe like we'll see like calgar or something um garadon you know some of the actual chapter masters or captains who belong to each of the chapters um that we see on the tabletop so yeah it's a really really interesting time and i really do think these models are absolutely fantastic now before we end the video i just want to say that the only thing that puts me off about joy Toy 
toy at this moment in time, again, the models are fantastic, is that I've only seen them painted as Ultramarines. I haven't seen them being released as non-painted figures or different chapter related figures. So hopefully that is on the cards for them where you can buy them as a blank canvas and you can paint them for whatever chapter you want. Because I think it really would be a sad day that the only chapter you can get in these is the Ultramarines. I'm not saying the Ultramarines are bad or anything like that. I'm just saying everyone doesn't play Ultramarines. You know, there's a lot more cooler people out there who play a lot more cooler chapters. Oh boy, the Ultramarines are coming. Right, um, that is me done for another video. As always, I would love to get your thoughts and feedback on this. Do you love them? Do you hate them? Are you not bothered about them? What chapter would you like to see next? What race would you like to see next? Should it be Chaos Space Marines, Eldar, Necron, Sisters of Battle? Post it all down below and we can have a nice little chat down there as we always do. See you now. Hopefully you're having a great day and bye-bye.